In this screencast, I'm going to show you how I publish uh, MATLAB output and create a Microsoft Word document. Now, there is there are some options for output to Word from MATLAB uh, publishing, but it's a little bit quirky on the way it works, um, depending on your version of Word and how you've got it configured. So I'm going to show you how to publish to HTML and then convert the document to uh, Doc. Now I've got the textbook software and you can see the path here that I'm using. Um, I'm going to work with the supplementary examples. I'm also going to show you how you can copy and paste out of that document. So let's take a doc let's take a function that's uh, that's that's developed in here. This is a function that fits vapor pressure. I'm just going to copy this from the PDF. And notice I'm copying this header line. I'm going to have to uh, clean that up, but let me copy. And then I'll create a new script. Script is nice because it's a completely blank document. And then I'm going to look for that line that was the header and clean that out. Anyway, let me find that. Um, also, I'm going to add some cells to this uh, function, and then we'll save it. So I'm going to pause the screencast and take care of those things. Okay, I've added some headers at, with the double percent, or I, I've added some cells. They will become headers in my published output. I can maximize this so you can see it. So I've got a cell at the top, and then I've got a cell with the data I'm going to fit just kind of break your code up into the sections. Extract the data and fit it, plot the results, and then here's my objective function that gets called over and over again, so I want that to stand out separately in my final report. Now let's publish this and then we'll make some final adjustments to it. So to publish this, I simply go to the Publish tab, and by default it's set up to publish to HTML, and you can certainly customize that. If you have a function that requires some inputs, you'll want to use your publishing options here in order, and you can actually put the MATLAB code to, to pass the right parameters to the function. But this one, this function doesn't require input, so we can just click publish. And uh, oh, it wants me to save it. I haven't saved it yet. We'll, we'll, we'll save it in that folder and it actually ran here and that's the figure of the fit. Now it's showing me the HTML published output. You can see how it's uh, taken those cells and made nice little headers. Okay. Now um, I think this looks pretty good. You can see here's the plotting. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to um, uh, clean this up in, in, uh, to make a Word document. Okay, so the publishing process has created this folder in my MATLAB folder, same up here. Um, it's a folder called HTML that has that document in it. I'm going to right click on it and you can see some uh, PNG figures here and they aren't part of this HTML, they're referenced by the HTML. So I'm going to open this with Microsoft Word. The first time you might have to browse to find Word to tell it to open. Okay, now you notice that uh, it's going to actually put like double spaces everywhere because it's HTML and I really don't want that. I'm going to use Control A to select everything and then I'm going to remove the spaces. All right. The other thing I really don't uh, care about this if I'm going to turn this report in so I can delete that part of the content. Now you can see that it's looking like a pretty nice little report. The other thing I can do is I can eliminate some of these extra um, lines. If I have some numbers, um, you know, that have units, I can actually just edit and type and add the units here in the uh, in my report. Okay, there's the final parameters that are fitted. Okay. 
Now, this is a graphic uh, that's referenced, and what I want to do is actually make it part of the Word document. So I'm going to right click on this and choose Copy. And then, uh, this is optional, but I'm going to delete it, and then I'm going to use Paste Special, and I'm going to paste it as an image. Okay, now instead of a reference graphic, it's part of the document. And so now if I save this, um, it will, and I want to be sure and save as a doc, so I save as a computer, and I'll just call it, I want to make it a docx. Okay, and there you go. And so this is the single document, and this is this is a fit um, vapor pressure. This is a fit of Antoine's equation to these uh, data points. You can see that's a very nice utility to have as well. Thanks.